hi and welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how to calculate the world health organization's five item subjective well-being scale so this scale is has only five items as the name suggests and can be used to assess the well-being of an individual psychologically uh, in some studies this scale has also been used as a screening measure for depression so let's get started so as the name suggests this scale has five items okay uh, these are the five items let me just show you uh, right so if item number one says i have felt cheerful in good spirits i have felt calm and relaxed i have felt active and vigorous i woke up feeling fresh and rested my daily life has been filled with things that interest me and these are rated on a five point likert scale all of the time most of the time more than half the time less than half the time some of the time and at no time at all so this is how the uh, scale is laid out i leave the link to the scale and the references in the description you can go through that so as the scale has five items um, the description is as follows the raw score is calculated by totaling the figures of the five answers so basically we need to total all the five items and the raw score uh, of course ranges from 0 to 25 0 representing worst and 25 representing the best score this can also be represented in the form of a percentage when that uh, score is multiplied by 4 right so you get a score of 0 to 100 which is like a percentage score now coming back to our data file you can see that uh, we have the five items you know already entered here who1 stands for the first item 2 3 4 5 and we have one variable here independent variable which is gender and i have labeled it uh, you know uh, male and female right now the first goal is to total the score so let's let's go ahead and do that uh, go to transform compute uh, first item in plus second item plus third item plus fourth item plus fifth item so we've added all the five items and the target variable will be T O T W E L L, which is total well-being for short. And in label, I have just mentioned it as uh, total well-being scale. Right? Click continue. Click OK. So as soon as I click OK, you can see the total score uh, is here. Now this is the total score. Now, as the scale suggests, we can also multiply this uh, by four to get uh, a percentage score. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. Again, we go to transform, and uh, we go to compute. We click on reset because we want to do a new calculation. Uh, put the total well-being scale here, and then click on multiply, and then four. So here we say T O T W E L P E R, which is total well-being score in percentage. On the label, we say total. well-being scale percentage per click continue or we could also add a percentage symbol instead of this so that it's easier for everyone to understand yeah so that makes things uh simpler we click continue and then click okay so here you have the percentage scores that range from 0 to 100 okay Now the next step is to interpret this. How do you interpret this? Uh, because this is a uh, this is a scale without any subscales. This only has five items. So in the next part of the video, we'll discuss how we could possibly interpret this scale. Okay. So the scale basically says that the score ranges from zero to twenty-five, and twenty-five uh, represents the highest possible score, and zero represents the lowest possible score. Now let's go ahead and find out the average first to find out. on average what's the uh, well being of the respondents like for this we go to descriptive analyze descriptive statistics uh, we click on uh, 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 descriptives and then we select the total well being scale right and then we want the mean we don't want the standard devi okay we could have the standard deviation as well and then the minimum and the maximum and then click okay so here you can see the on average the the average score of the respondents is 15.63 which is somewhat above average because the average is 12.5 and uh, the minimum is 3 and the maximum is 25 so someone has a perfect uh, well being as well in this study 
So this is how you interpret the average score. But then what if I want to categorize the respondents? I want to find out how many respondents have uh, below average uh, well-being and how many have uh, an above average well-being. So for that, we need to cate categorize the responses. Uh, again, we need to go to transform. We need to go to recode into different variables and then click on reset in case there are any variables inside. Um, put in the total well-being scale here. I'm talking about the raw scale uh, and not the uh, the percentage. So here we click on the total well-being, click on old and new values. So here uh, we click on, uh, you know, zero to 12.5 maybe, which we considered as average. And then we say uh, 12.6 to 25 would be two. So we're basically categorizing the responses into two, low and high. And click on continue. Uh, go back to roll screen. Here we type uh, LVL, WEL. That's to level of well-being. Level of well-being in the label section. And then click on change. And then we click on OK. And done. We have the level of well-being here as a new variable. We'll have to go to variable view and then uh, name this, of course, or add the value labels. So just like we do it for gender, just double click here. Uh, one would be low and two would be high. So this is how I categorize the uh, well-being scores of the respondents. Now the next step would be to uh, find out how many percentage, how, how many respondents actually have a low level of well-being and how many have a high level of well-being. So for that we go to analyze, click on descriptive statistics, uh, click on frequencies, right? Uh, we put level of well-being in. We don't want the mean, we, uh, standard deviation, or minimum, maximum because this is a categorical variable. And then we click on uh, OK. Now we go to the output. So here you can see only six respondents or 20% of the respondents have a low level of well-being and 80% have a high level of well-being. So that's pretty good. It's, it's, it's similar to what we found here where we found that most people had above average level of well-being. So this is one way of interpreting the results. Of course, you can also do the same with the percentage. Okay, uh, Divide the percentage. Uh, by 0 to 49 or 0 to 50 and then 51 to 100 and then do the same as well. You could also uh, carry out a t-test um, you know with a raw score and the gender to find out which gender has a higher level of uh, well-being. Okay I have videos on t-tests and high squares and so on. You can check my uh, channel for more information. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did please do like and subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Thanks for watching and bye for now.